Okay, so I am going to go through the process of cold laminating a soft cover book uh, the way that we do it at Cottonwood Elementary. And this is your basic supplies. A uh, roll of laminate, this is 10 inch for this size book. book. And you need at least one pair of scissors, a smaller pair for the fine work on the spine is ideal, and a bone folder. <clears throat> so the first thing we're gonna do is measure the laminate for the book. This can be individualized to each book. So what you want is a three inch to one inch border on all sides of the book. This edge, this side, and then the other side. So the way I find out how big I want to cut my laminate is by placing the book on its front, on the laminate, at the three quarter inch mark, and then I roll the book on its spine. And you can see here that it ends approximately at this inch mark. So I'm gonna go three fourths of an inch past that and cut along that mark. The way I like to cut is instead of sawing through the laminate where you can risk having a ragged edge, I like to just glide the scissors along and finish it that way. Set that aside. And now the at this point, I would make sure that I have three-fourths of an inch on both sides. This is roughly an inch. This is roughly an inch. And because we got our three-fourths of an inch margin on each edge pretty close, I'm going to go ahead and just trim this top edge off. And again, I like to use the weight to the book to sort of weigh down the paper. <clears throat> and then we're going to peel the laminate from the backing. I find it easiest to pull the laminate away this way, peel it back. And now we need to account for the width of the spine of the book. So I peel this all the way back here, and I'm not sure if this is going to show up very well on camera, but take the spine, maybe if I hold it like this you can see, this piece extends past the bottom and I want it to match the spine width of the book. Use this edge as your guide to fold and then crease here. Match those up, crease the book here. Now, this is now the laminate for the front cover, including the spine. So I'm going to take this back edge, I'm going to line up, make sure that I have the same amount here as I have here and then kind of slide the book off and you'll feel it drop down off of this edge. Roll the book, I like to push down and roll because the fewer bubbles that we start with on this surface, the better. You can see, maybe you can't, but I can see that I've got a bubble here. We need to work the bubbles out. I find it works best to work the bubbles out with your fingers first. If you go straight to your bone folder at this point, I find you often seal some bubbles in that you could have otherwise worked out with your fingers. <clears throat> so start in the middle and slide the bubbles out off of the edge of the page. At this point, if you want to use the bone folder to make it really smooth, you can. I do not. And now this is covered. Now I'm going to take this whole thing and flip it over. And we're going to cut the corners. So, let's see. 
I'm trying to make this so that you can see it. Take your scissors and then you're going to cut at a 45 degree angle here the corner of the laminate. Now you can take this piece and put it in the corner of the book as a reinforcement. And this came off the edge a little bit and that will not be good when we need to fold the laminate over. So I'm going to reposition this. Okay. And so same for this corner. Place that there. And then now we're going to cut a slit in this laminate here so that we can fold all of these flaps in. So I'm going to cut right there just to the edge of the book. And there. And now we need to fold this up and we want to get as tight of a um, connection to the book as possible because any gaps between the laminate and the book are great places for dirt to get in. So I start in the middle and I push pretty firmly up against the cover of the book. And I work my way from the center to the corners. And then I work from the edge of the book in. And we'll repeat that with all the sides. Again, you want to make sure that you've got this all the way up against the edge of the book. Push, push, push. And then this is the point at which I use my bone folder because I want to make sure that these are really well adhered. So just rub with your bone folder all along here. And you, this little bit of debris reminds me that um, a lot of these rolls of laminate will have little flakes that come off in the manufacturing process that sometime, sometimes get into your laminate and you can use a piece of scotch tape to pull those up if you find them stuck to the wrong side of your laminate. Okay, so the front cover is done. So now we take and pull the rest of the backing off. And I will typically use this as uh, another just safeguard against getting dirt and debris on my laminate. So lay this down. Now we want to make sure that, again, that this sticks as well as possible to the spine to allow as few crumbs and bits of dirt to get in as possible. So I'm going to pull the laminate away a bit, roll the spine on, keep this flat, and then roll it onto the laminate again. We flip it over. This is, you don't want this to, this is all sticky, so you don't want this picking up bits from your table. And again, just working the bubbles out with your fingers from the center out to the edges. If you find that you have a bubble in the middle of your page that you just can't work out, you can take a, a pin or a really sharp point on your scissors and poke a hole right in it to work the air out. It's, that's the last resort option. Try and get the bubbles out first. Okay, so then we're going to repeat the process with the corners. Cutting these off. and adhering them to the cover. Cut this slit here and the 
this one here. And again, folding these flaps over and getting them as tightly bound to the book as possible. I normally would have the book up like this if I was doing this, but it blocks the camera view. So just since you saw the process once already, I'm going to do it the way I would normally do it. And I'm going to let the book rest against my hand because it allows the back cover, allows the cover to lay flat on the table, giving me an easier surface to work with. Maybe you can see a little bit better from this side. Lay the cover flat on the table. I like to do, like I said, I like to do this with my fingers first and then the bone folder because if you have any um, puckers or gaps or anything in this and you use a bone folder, you will crease them and pretty much almost make them permanent. So get the page, get the laminate to lay down first and then use the bone folder to really press it in. Okay, and then to finish it off, we need to get these pieces of laminate off, and they need to be cut as close to the book as possible so that they don't catch on things. So this is where your little scissors come in handy, and cut right up against it all three sides, one, two, three. No tags or anything left. Cut. Cut. There. And that is a completed cold laminated soft cover book. Three fourths to one inch borders all the way around with reinforced corners and a smooth cut spine.